I started using Minecraft as a tool in my classes uh, maybe about 2010 and since then Iwalani School has started to really pick up on the video game, on the programming, on the Minecraft tools. So the Minecraft workshops that we host here at Iwalani School over the summer, it's part of the summer school program, um, they're open to any students and they allow students to come in, explore Minecraft if they're new to it and if they're experts, share that knowledge with their classmates. Minecraft is like a pixel game where basically the world is made out of blocks. It's kind of like Legos, except that it's a video game. If you think of it inside your head, you can basically go build that. And um, that's what makes it really unique. This summer we're doing three different workshops. We're doing one on ancient Hawaiian history, um, where students come in and they kind of relive through an ancient Hawaiian uh, ahu pua'a. Um, in the Minecraft world. They have a second one, which is uh, Redstone, which is the circuitry and kind of like Boolean logic. And then our third one is um, Mars, NASA, and SpaceX. So with the story of the Hokulea and the Worldwide Voyage, for that Minecraft workshop, what we really wanted to do is have the students explore and self-direct their own learning about ancient Hawaiian history. So the first question we asked them was, what do humans need to survive? Go back and research how did the ancient Hawaiians solve those problems? Where do you get fresh water? Where do you get food? How do you protect and sustain yourself from the elements? They found a really good video resource that kind of talked through how an Ahu'upua'a works, and they were able to design and look at uh, different photos of the old hales for that. My greatest challenge um, was to build the canoe. As a group, we had to think about what our canoe would be shaped like and what would be on it. I learned that working as a teammate is a big part of just general life and if you're playing like a game. I think Minecraft is really fun because it's like infinite. There's like, you can do it over and over again. Like you never beat the game. With other games, you just beat all the levels and then you're done with the game and then you can't play it. I think the biggest takeaway I think the students will be able to bring away from a class like this is that confidence that they can go out and teach themselves something. So they learn about the Hokulea and the Worldwide Voyage, they learn about ancient Hawaiian history on their own. Uh, the biggest thing that I try to push in the class is you taught yourself how to play Minecraft. They can take that away to any other subject that they want. If they want to learn how to build a drone, they can go off and build a drone. If they want to learn how to surf or skateboard or do anything they want, they now know that all that ability of learning is in their own hands. They can go on YouTube, they can go on Google, and they can use the techniques that they learned in the class and teach themselves any skill that they want. That's why I love Minecraft so much.